Now we come to the significance of electric field. Okay, what is what is the significance of electric field? Because because the what we significance of electric field because what we measure is the force. Okay, so until and unless you have a test charge in a region, you will not be able to know that there is an electric field there, right? Still, why have we come to this and why did not we stop at the, at the notion of the force itself, okay? Now see, if there is a system of charges, then, the f then it has got a particular electric field. So we found out that that electric field E, E, P. which is the sum of these fields, right? Which is the sum of these vector fields, right? Now, so suppose at this point I have got so many fields, say some like that, some like this, some like that, okay, and say some like this, and some like that. And at the net field, say, say points in this direction. The net field at this point points in this direction. These may be these fields, right? So the, it may be say EP1, EP2, EP3, EP4, dot, 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 EP, N, okay? Now once you know that, if I ask you to find out the force at that point on a given charge, you have to do what? You just do, you take this charge, multiply it by this EP, you get the force. Understand? So what has happened? Electric field is the characteristic of the system of charges independent of the test charge. While force depends on, on the test charge. So, so suppose at this point, if someone reports with say one micro coulomb, uh, a force of, with one micro coulomb, a force of 10 Newton, then someone with six micro coulomb will, will, will be reporting a force of 60 Newtons. Okay. And someone with, with 10 micro coulomb will be reporting a force of 100 Newtons. So though the, f but, but, so this is the force and what is the electric field that everyone will report? Everyone will report say, what? This is Q into E is equal to F. Okay, so, so this will be? So, so it is 10, 10 to the power minus 6 Newton per Coulomb. What is the unit of electric field? Electric field we have defined as F upon Q, so its unit, it will be, its unit will be, it will be 10 into 10 to the power minus 6, right? So its unit will be, it's 10 into 10 to the power plus 6 Newton per Coulomb, right? So, uh, so, so its, its unit is Newton per Coulomb. So it is so much amount of, so much amount of field, right? 10 into 10 to the power 6 Newton per Coulomb. What will be reported here? The same. 10 into 10 to the power 6 Newton per Coulomb. What will be reported here? Same. 10 into 10 to the power 6 Newton per Coulomb. So if I have a, have a system of charges, then somehow my field is absolutely independent of the test charge. But force is dependent on the test charge. So this is more convenient. It is similar to, it is similar to the G that you are given, right? 
you are given g and independently you are given mass so you can consider the mass to be the test mass so that when it multiplies with this g it gives you the force That is okay, but but what happens? I am not giving you that the 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 weight of this particle at here at this place is say say sixty newtons. Huh? We we are not telling you that. We are telling you g is that. Now take g, whatever mass you put, you determine your own weight. So what do you do? You keep on multiplying things by. G, G. So G is the characteristic of G is the characteristic of the of the source mass, independent of the test mass. The same thing happens there. G m one, or, or, or say small m, capital M upon R square. So what is your G? It is F upon M. You see, G m upon R square. The same thing has happened here. Perhaps your test mass was m, so you divide the force by the test mass. There you divided it by test charge. So F is equal to k q q upon r square. So you divide F by q to get F by q, right? Get the point. So it's as simple as that. in the same way as g was giving you the characteristic of of this in a similar manner f upon q which is the electric field is giving you the characteristic of this source okay okay so 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 you can say that g is the gravitational field what do you call as acceleration due to gravity is actually the gravitational field okay so so hmm units what it is newton per kg that that is newton per coulomb hmm yes hmm No, acceleration is set by Newton. No, F is equal to m a. N upon m is F upon m is a. Correct. So F p is equal to Q e p. So so you understand the the first significance why we we defined the electric field instead of the force is because. the electric field field reflects the the distribution of system of charges and is independent of the and is independent of the test charge okay but the bigger significance is somewhere here now what happens when we study the system of accelerated charges okay accelerated charges then what happens is is an accelerated charge produces a change in current which produces a changing magnetic field which produces an electric field okay 
that is the subject matter of electromagnetic waves that you will study in chapter 8. Fine? But what happens when we have an accelerated charge? It produces a changing when we have an accelerated charge it produces a, a changing current which produces a which produces a changing magnetic field magnetic field which produces back an electric field okay these self sustaining electric and magnetic fields fields are called electromagnetic waves which we will study in chapter 8 this is the crux of the matter right are called electromagnetic waves okay now these will so this electric and magnetic field okay the self-sustaining electric and magnetic field requires time to move and the electromagnetic waves move with the speed of light okay which has which moves with the speed of light which moves with the speed of light so it takes some time for the charge at a distance to feel its effect. Okay? Maybe the charge is moving. So, so it will it'll be affected both by the electric and the magnetic field of the electromagnetic wave, but it will take some time. You accelerate the charge here, suppose it is some, 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 somewhere in, at, at, on the sun, then it will take you 8 minutes for the, for that charge to even know that something like an electromagnetic wave has been generated somewhere and then it will respond to it. For that the concept of force for that the concept of force is somehow not suitable okay so that is the real reason we are kind of emphasizing on on the concept of electric field right